Hey everybody, I'm Real Zykin, and I'm going to be doing some Let's Play videos real soon. Before I start, I'd like to do a shout out to HC Bailey. HC man, your videos are awesome. I watched your entire Final Fantasy VII one, including the appendices. You're really informative, you're humorous, you're just a real joy to listen to, and I'm looking forward to the rest of your works. I'm especially looking forward to your Final Fantasy IX one, so kudos to you man, and happy gaming. Okay, the actual reason why I'm doing this. I actually need some help thinking of a secondary video I want to do. Yep, that's right. I'm a newbie and I'm going to do two videos. So too damn bad for those who say, Oh, that's a bad idea. You shouldn't do that. You'll be overwhelmed. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> that sounds so damn cocky. Anyways, secondary videos. I have several games in mind and I'm going to list them off for you and just make the comments down below on what you think I should do and how to do it. Okay, the first game that comes to mind, Final Fantasy VIII. Mainly because it's just another Final Fantasy game that came to mind. Now I can do this, viewers. I mean, I can beat this game no problem. But you're going to have a really cranky real Zykin at the end of this, because I'm going to be spending hour after hour drawing magic just for your amusement, and that's just going to be a pain in the ass for me, so I'll do it. I'm just not going to be happy about it. To be honest, I can't really say much about the story right now because I haven't played the game in several months. So think of it as a learning experience. You and me viewers, on the road to Final Fantasy VIII. Okay, I'm not going to say. I don't need to embarrass myself more than necessary. Anyways, Final Fantasy VIII is an okay game, I guess. I mean, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give it an hmm, 8.5. Mainly because of awesome cinematics. I'll have to admit it has very good cinematics. And well, the characters are pretty developed. I mean, it could be better, but then again it could be worse. Anyways, that's all I have to say about Final Fantasy VIII. It's a pretty good game. But the next game I'm about to announce, huh man, it just takes the cake for sure. Star Ocean till the end of time. That game just takes sci-fi and RPGs to a whole new level. I'm not gonna lie, it's one of my favorite games. Anyways, the story starts out kind of typical. Your protagonist, your teenage boy, your local lazy ass, fate line god. Okay, maybe not a lazy ass, but you get the point. Anyways, I'm not going to spoil much, but the battle system is just amazing. That's one of my favorite things. Real life action. Well, real life, not real life. Real time viewers, real time, I'm sorry. Once again, I'm not really going to go into details, but... On a scale of 1 to 10 for this game, I'd give it like a 9, 9.2. Yeah, I'm just making up random ass numbers as I go, so don't look at me like that. Anyways, hmm. Okay, next game. I was actually planning on doing this anyways, no matter what you guys thought, so expect this in the near future. Bully. <laughs> yeah, I kind of guess what you guys are thinking. It's not really a game that's probably worth making a Let's Play video for. It has good storyline and all that, but it's pretty linear. Like, you have to follow a certain map, um, certain mark or objective on the radar, and that's basically how you move on with the storyline. But it's pretty fun, and uh, I really want to make fun of the stereotypes in this game. I mean, they really over-dramatize how nerds or jocks or cheerleaders act. It's just kind of ridiculous, but ridiculously funny. <laughs> A barrel full of laughs. Yeah, so on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd give it like a 7.5 to an 8. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not going to bother with the numbers anymore. It's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Anyways, the next and final game I, I'm willing to throw out on the table here is called Indigo Prophecy. But originally, I think it was used to be called Fahrenheit for specific reasons, which I won't say right now. <laughs> it's kind of hard to explain, actually, the game, because... You take uh, control of a character who commits a murder, and the point is to avoid being caught by the police and all that, while trying to figure out who controlled you, who made you do this. You're not a killer at heart. Now what I really want to talk about is the gameplay element, because it's really kind of creative and innovative compared to most games you've played in the past. But you know, that actually required me to say a sentence without actually messing it up because I've recorded this about f a dozen times. 
So, all I'll say is a lot of button sequences. Yes, I said sequences, and I'm not going to correct myself, and don't you dare make me correct myself. <laughs> Anyways, that's all I have to say about this game, really. I'm expecting you guys to know what these games are so I don't take up too much time and humiliate myself too much. So yeah, Final Fantasy VIII, Bully, Indigo Prophecy, Star Ocean, one of those four, I'll do a secondary Let's Play video. I mean, I have other games like Radiata Stories, a lot of the Final Fantasy IV games for the PlayStation 1. Well, it's your choice, really. And to wrap things up, I know you can hear me hyperventilating or something. That's just me breathing heavy. I kind of have asthma problems, so... I hope you guys can bear with that. Sorry. Well, that's all I have time for right now, so... I'm planning on doing my first Final Fantasy IX video soon, as soon as I figure out how to make Pinnacle Studio work. Damn programs and damn wires. Damn. Anyways, this is Real Zyken. I'm looking forward to doing Let's Play videos and making myself known to everybody. I'm logging off now, so have a good day and happy gaming. Oh, and P.S. I know I kind of sound a bit boring right now, but I'll pick up as I go along. That's all.